it's not very often you have a game that gets released where a game developer afterwards just throws up their hands and go, you know what, we're done trying to do this as a job. It seems like Lord of the Rings, Gollum is that game. And it seems like Daedalic is closing the door when it comes to game development. Like we're just gonna be a publisher moving forward. We just can't do this. Lord of the Rings Gollum was a highly anticipated game for the year because we don't really get a whole lot of Lord of the Rings games. So when you see a cool side story about Gollum, you're like one of the main characters from the amazing franchise you're like okay this is going to be kind of exciting but when the game came out it was something else the gameplay loop seemed to be just a bunch of random fetch quests and random tasks that really don't have you be like Gollum but more just like a dude who's crawling around in a prison and on top of that it's super janky the graphics are last gen at best oddly paywalled with some really crucial things like lore and also lore accurate voiceovers. It really just kind of seemed like this game was doomed to fail and once it finally released, well, people were not happy about it. With a meta score down into the 30s, Steam reviews being overwhelmingly negative and countless YouTube videos basically stated this might be one of the worst games, if not the worst game, of the year. This game was doomed to fail. And that's why Data Lake Entertainment is reportedly ending all internal game development. And apparently Data Lake had another Lord of the Rings game that's been in development since the middle of 2022 and that's been cancelled entirely. And reportedly that 25 Data Lake employees have been laid off and that's a company of 90 people. What's next for Data Lake? We don't really know. All we know for sure is that they're not going to be making games anymore. They're moving to much more of a publisher standpoint. They're going through a restructuring phase or trying to figure out what the future is going to be for this company. Now I haven't seen any reports saying that they've lost the licensing to Lord of the Rings so they could possibly hand out the development to some other studio that could make a game for Lord of the Rings and they'll just be the publishers who have the connections to have the licensing to be able to make these games. Only time will tell but we do know that we're going to be years away from another data lake game to be released and it's going to be really tough for any developer out there who is going to be associated with data lake because the last game from them is going to be Gollum, which completely shattered all trust within the gaming community when it comes to quality. It does seem like in the short term that they are still committed to fixing up Gollum to be a much more functional game, but I don't really expect to see like DLC or anything else come from this company for quite some time. I just thought this was a story because not quite often you see a company crash and burn this hard.